Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sayaka, and welcome back to Scum Survival. So in front of us, we have a gas station because our vehicle is about to run out of fuel, as you can see over here. So I thought it's a great idea to stop here and refuel our vehicle, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's get here an MP5. And I parked the vehicle kind of further away because for those who didn't know, we are playing with boosted zombie spawn count, and at the same time, these zombies do 100 times more damage than usual, so they can kill us with just one attack. So I didn't want to drive here too close because those zombies can probably attack me through the car because the car doesn't have any doors, plus I don't want those zombies to destroy my car tires because that's definitely what they can do so i can already see at least one two three four five zombies probably so how about i deal with this guy over there how on earth that dude is still alive they're gonna deal with the other guy the other guy is there anybody else there okay i see more zombies there are definitely many more zombies wait let's quickly check how many bullets we got I'm gonna look around if anyone's attacking us. We got here 23 bullets, and in case things go south, we still have here another pistol. So let's just go for it, I guess. I mean, it would be maybe better if we just made some noise, and then all of those zombies would start following us. But I guess that's fine. I'll get this guy. And how about I start running up? Okay, I already see a few zombies chasing me. I got one. And we're gonna get this zombie. Can I get it? Please. There we go, we got another zombie. Excuse me, these things are called puppets because some people are like, Oh, psych, they're not zombies, they're puppets. Which, again, yes, they are puppets, but zombie and puppet is, like, literally the same thing. Whatever. Doesn't matter. There we go, let's deal with this thing. How many more puppets do we have left here? Because there's one more. Got it. I don't think anyone's behind us, so there we go, we dealt with a bunch of these zombies. Felt kind of nice. Oh my goodness. There's somebody else that way. I just heard it. I just heard it. I just heard somebody on the right there. There we go. Seems kind of quiet-ish. So I'm going to quickly check how many bullets we got left. We got 11 bullets left. So not that bad. We can still deal with the 11 zombies here if I get constant headshots. At least this place has uh, some fuel. That is good. I'll deal with this guy over there. Let's open the door. Let's close the door. And let's check if there's anybody sleeping. There was somebody sleeping here. Wow. Okay, and I can hear some more zombies outside. I'm gonna step away from the window because sometimes they can still punch you through the window. That does happen. These schmucks are kind of crazy. Let's deal with this guy. And there's somebody over there. Look at that. There are more of them. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. We got this zombie. I have no idea how many more zombies there are left, but hey, that's fine. We're gonna get now this fishing hat here. I think we're gonna put it at the top of the backpack because it'll be easier to sort that stuff out. Everything that's on the top, it's gonna be sold to the traders. What do we have here? A baseball bat. Maybe we can sell that baseball bat, so I'm gonna get that baseball bat as well. We got some gunpowder. I don't think I have a lot of gunpowder in the car, so let's get it. Perhaps later on we'll start crafting bullets, so everything is possible. We're gonna get some carrot juice. Yeah, there we go. Let's get it, and maybe we're gonna take a sip of it. There we go. Let's take a sip of the carrot juice. Imagine drinking carrot juice. Maybe it's good, maybe it's bad. Never tried it. I assume it's kind of decent, maybe. Let's get some cola. Now, let's quickly check these vending machines. We've gotten some more cola. I will get that stuff. We've gotten some cash here in the car register. Let's get it. Uh, 36 cash. Never gonna say no to that. So let's get our MP5 now. Let's go outside. And I don't think a single person is here. You know what I'd love to do? Wait, let's just do something big brain. We don't have a silencer in this weapon. So how about I do one shot just to make some noise. So... In case if there are any more zombies, they'd come to me, but I don't think there are any more zombies. So there we go. Let's open up this door and let's go now into another building here. And also, I haven't mentioned that we cannot reload the same location twice in this world. So every time a location... Oh my goodness! So every time I loot a location, I'm just going to cross it up the map and boom, these are all of the locations that I have already looted. And you know what? Let's continue checking this place out. So it's kind of weird. I've made a shot there, right? I've made some noise and this zombie did not wake up. That's... that is interesting. Whatever. We've gotten here a coffee cup. Let's drink that coffee cup and let's see what else this place has to offer. We've gotten some broccoli seeds. I still haven't even tried growing things in this game because for those who didn't know, in 0.8 update, developers added an ability to, to have your own garden and I still haven't done that. I don't even know how it's like to, to grow stuff in this game. Maybe one day we'll do it. Once we start building a base, we will definitely try to do it. So I think that place is kind of safe. We can bring the vehicle down there. And now we have here 436 fame points. And I think you need 400 fame points to start buying car parts. So 
finally will be able to buy some doors for this vehicle. Even though that's not really necessary, but who wouldn't want to have some doors in their vehicle, right? I wouldn't mind having some armored doors. Like, I want to get a fully armored vehicle. So, yeah, I'd like to do it. There we go. Let's try to park it over here. I think it should be good enough. There we go. Let's try to refuel it. I still hope that none of the zombies are going to spawn out of nowhere because sometimes that does happen. There we go. Let's try to fill the fuel because sometimes it feels like everything's quiet and then a zombie comes out of nowhere and hits you in the back and you die. It happened to me once or twice. There we go. We have refueled the vehicle. This vehicle definitely doesn't store lots of fuel, but no, no, no. Don't do it. Like you don't need to open the trunk to access it. There we go. Let's try to close it. There we go, but let's go here, and I think in one of these boxes, we got some things. Okay, here we can sell stuff. Then we got another box, and in this other box, we have a... Okay, we don't have a full canister of fuel, so let's get that canister. Maybe we have another one. We have another canister, and this one is full, but the one that I dropped here on the ground was not full, so I guess let's refuel the canister as well. Why not? The more fuel, the better. As I said, I won't be able to reload the same location twice, so once we are downloading this place, I won't be able to come back here to get some more fuel. So if I'll ever need more fuel, we'll just have to buy more fuel from the traders, I guess. I just dropped that baseball bat and other stuff here in the vehicle. And now let's sort of leave this place and let's go into a small shipyard because if I'm not mistaken, there's gotta be a small shipyard ahead of us. I don't remember if I've ever looted it or not. And also speaking of other things that I might've not looted, there go, there's some sort of an island in the Z4 square and I'd love to go there because there's like some sort of a town. So I'd love to check it out as I don't think I've ever been there and now we got this place okay i remember it maybe we can get here some sardines or not we'll see we got here four bullets so yeah before we go there i think it would be nice to reload it real quick so let's drop here a magazine let's try to load it up because we still have here a decent amount of bullets so i'm gonna load up that magazine we have an extra magazine here in this military quiver i should also probably load up this other m9 magazine but i don't really use the pistol that often so that's fine and also today's goal is to find a desert eagle flashlight because i'd love to craft an improvised flashlight and you can craft it only with a desert Desert Eagle flashlight. There we go. Let's reload the MP5K. And I'm about 80% certain that today we're gonna die here because there are lots of bushes. I don't think I'll know where to go. Again, we could maybe just make some noise. Let's go for it. I will try to get the zombie. That didn't work. But that's it. Those zombies are gonna start chasing us. Obviously. Obviously. Let's get it. There we go. Got both of them. More! Look at them! Excuse me, did you see how many zombies there were? Did you see that? I'm gonna quickly reload because I have no idea how many bullets we got left there. But that was actually insane. I mean, it's a nice way to deal with all of them. You just do one shot and all of those zombies are just gonna come out. Kind of genius, if you ask me. <laughs> kind of genius. But we got them all. Pretty cool. So let's start quickly checking this place out. Perhaps we'll get something nice. We've gotten this small axe, which can be kind of sold for a decent price. Let's get some more duct tape. If I'm not mistaken, that duct tape can be used in crafting that improvised flashlight. So I'd love to get a flashlight here. That'd be very awesome. How about I jump up? Can I even jump up here? Yes, indeed I can. Yes, indeed I can. We could make maybe here another shot and more zombies would follow us, but I kind of don't want to do it yet. I kind of want to loot this place safely and maybe if we find more zombies, then I'm going to make some more noise. And here we've gotten another padlock. Let's get it. For those who do not know, you can combine 15 padlocks and you can sell them for about 800 cash. So that's not that bad. That's why I keep picking up those padlocks. And we've gotten here another small toolbox, which I think it's kind of useful. We've just gotten a carrot juice in the other town there at that gas station. And here we've gotten a carrot. I think we're going to leave it. Thank you, but no. You might be like, hey, Sai, eat a, eat a vegetable, right? It is a nice veggie. Excuse me. We don't do that here. We only eat Pepsi. And uh, and I think that's pretty much it. My character only drinks Pepsi in this world. Who needs nutrients when Pepsi has all the nutrients you'll ever want? We've gotten here some construction boots in this other building. Let's get that. We have here a metal saw, which I think we can also sell it. So let's get that metal saw. I don't really know for how much we can sell that thing. Maybe for 50, maybe for 100 cash. But whatever's the price, we're going to sell it. Okay, we've gotten here some more clothes. Uh, we got these sweatpants. Come to Papa. Do we have a sewing kit? Yes, indeed, we got the sewing kit. So let's sort of repair the sweatpants. There we go. They're back at 100% durability. And this place doesn't have anything else. All right, so we're almost done looting this place. As I said, it's a pretty tiny thing. Oh, no, there is another zombie. There. I don't know if I trust it. I'm just gonna go on... 
top of this thing in case if there were more zombies. I'm kind of surprised that there were no beeping zombies. Usually they do protect this thing, another gas station. So it's kind of weird that I haven't seen here a single beeping zombie, but who knows, maybe they're still hiding somewhere, but I would have probably heard them as they make that weird, creepy laughing sound. All right, we've gotten some more nails, kind of don't need that. Have we looted this place? No, we've just gotten some water. Water, AKA more caramel soda. Thank you, but that's too much even for me. We've gotten some jeans, let's get those. We've gotten tuna salad, MRE. Yes, please, a toolbox that fits over here. So you know what, this place has some decent loot. Let me tell you that. There's another zombie here. I'm pretty certain about it. There's gotta be another zombie, sleep, schmuck. Got him. It's so annoying when they start yelling. Wouldn't it be just better if they were quiet all the time? We've gotten here a lead plate. Let's get those lead plates. We've gotten a beanie. We're gonna sell that beanie. And a compass, military compass. We can either get it for ourselves or we could sell it. I don't really know if I'll be using this compass on my own, maybe? I mean, so far I don't have any compasses, so maybe I'll just put one in the military shirt and there we go, it's gonna be good enough for now. But I think we can sell that stuff for a few hundred cash. It's not that bad, it's pretty decent. So there we go, we have looted the gas station. We've gotten here some bread. It doesn't look that bad, I'd actually take a bite of this bread that the dude's eating here right now. I mean, look at the bread. Let me look at it, there we go. Look at the bread that he's holding, pretty decent. Look, I've put the bread back on the stable. And yeah, I'm pretty certain we have looted this entire gas station. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Sadly, we cannot take more gasoline because all of my gas canisters are full already. And let's loot the other side of the... I just heard some footsteps. I got scared. How about I... There gotta be more zombies. There's gotta be more zombies, there we go. Oh no, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. I am legit dead here right now. So I'll keep moving away little by little, unless they can jump up. Okay, I got some of them. That was interesting to say the least. Let's see how many bullets we got left. We got here seven bullets left. Okay, before I go anywhere else, I think it would be wise to go and reload the other magazine that we had. Where is it? I know I had it. There we go, we have it. So it still had a decent amount of bullets. I'd still say that magazine had about 10 bullets, but hey, whatever, let's reload it. And then we can go deeper into that place. And maybe it's gonna start raining or maybe no. It looks like it's kind of dark. It looks like it's about to rain, but it. It's not really that cloudy. So there we go, let's try to reload this magazine. There we go, we got another full magazine. And we might as well just load up the other one. Like, I'm kind of running out of bullets. Little by little, this place definitely had lots of zombies. <laughs> More than I expected. We killed like probably 10, 15 zombies over there. We killed 10, 15 zombies there. So seriously, lots of schmucks everywhere. And look at this, it's getting brighter. And plus this drone kind of scared me. There we go, we've loaded up another magazine. And I think it's time for us to go that way. Let's see if we're gonna get any loot here. So looting this place might have been worth it. I mean, we've gotten some things. Oh, there's another zombie that I obviously haven't looted and dealt with yet. Another zombie here. Some of them are really in deep, deep sleep. Some of them didn't even care about the noise that we've done with the pistol, which is kind of ridiculous. Whatever, let's go back to the vehicle. Let's quickly drop some loot before we continue looting this place. I want to see how many bullets we got in the pistol. We still have 10 bullets, so that's decent. Let's put it back. So I'm going to drop all of the things inside of this backpack that I am planning to sell. Like, all of that stuff will be sold. And then we got a box with our own toolboxes. So let's put those toolboxes for ourselves because uh, there is no need to sell them. Because I don't think we're going to get lots of cash for those toolboxes and you always need toolboxes basically for everything. So let's keep them. Say, so let's go back over here and let's loot this place before all of these zombies respawn because they're not going to stay here dead forever. They are going to reset after some time. So we should be quick. Wait, I've just killed a zombie here and their bodies are already gone. So, look at this bunch of zombies were here and their bodies are gone. Um, all right, maybe once you step away, they despawn. I have no idea. In any case, I'm gonna be very quick while looting this place. Because I think every time you kill all the zombies in the area, the timer restarts and every like maybe 10 minutes or so, zombies are gonna respawn again. So that's not gonna be good. There might be a zombie breathing down my neck somewhere. I'm just hoping that that's not the case. We could maybe take this small spade. I'll sell it. Why not? 
There we go. Let's get everything. Like, we need as many things as possible because I've used lots of bullets to loot this place. So we need as much cash as possible to at least make some profit because those bullets were kind of expensive. All right, we're going to loot here the ship very soon. I just want to check this place out first. And it would be cool if this place had a boat. If this place had a boat, I would 100% go to that island that I just talked about today. That's located in the Z4 sector. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. So maybe, you know what? Let's go to that ship now. Let's go to the second floor and then we will loot this place. Perhaps we've gotten a hospital shirt. <laughs> Let's sell it. Even if it's like five cash or something, it's still worth it. Everything's worth it. We need to get every single penny, every single cent that we can get here. We need to get everything. Okay, nothing here. Let's use the ladder. Let's climb up. All right, and it looks like nothing here on the second floor either. Uh, four empty boxes. Oh, we've gotten here at least a padlock. You know what? That is something. So one padlock basically is equivalent to 53 cash, which is okay. Not bad at all. There's nothing to do that way. All right, so we've looted the ship. We've looted that side. We haven't looted anything there yet, so let's go that way. There are a few more boxes that we haven't checked out. Let's see what these boxes can offer us. I've just heard some zombies. Will I ever be able to shoot them? Because I keep hearing those zombies all the time since day one or whatnot. Every time I come to this place, I can hear zombies around this place. But you can never shoot them. I have no idea where they are. Are they beneath the ground or something? And it's so weird why these zombies make noise. Like, all the time, every time I come here, there is a zombie making noise around that place. But I can never see it. They're not here. They're not here. There's nothing to complain about, right? Let's open this up. There's another zombie. I don't know if they have reset or they have respawned. Or they were just here. Whatever. I've gotten with more of those zombies. We've gotten here another Halloween mask. Let's get it. We can sell at least that Halloween mask for a few hundred cash. Fishing floater packs. I want to get them because when we have now that guy that buys fishing things. The fishing guy. The fisherman, right? Maybe he can buy those floater packs for like a few hundred cash. That would be awesome. I mean, I'm picking up those padlocks, right? So I might as well just get those floater packs. So maybe we can even unpack those floaters, right? They're gonna take out fishing floaters. So maybe we can sell those floaters one by one. Or maybe we can sell the entire pack for more. So I'll definitely have to experiment on that once we get to the trader's place. And there's another trader's place at this A0 sector. So I don't really know. We could go back to the Z2 sector and sell some more stuff there. But I don't know. We'll see. So I think I've looted most of this place. I don't think I've missed anything. Maybe I might have missed like a box here or there. But I think mostly we've checked everything. So let's try to leave this place. So let's quickly now drop some loot that we are going to sell. Like these shirts, these padlocks, the floater packs, the small spade. And now let's hop in the vehicle and let's go over here in the Z3 sector. There's like a motorbike track. And I don't know how many times I've looted that place, but it's a relatively newish place. Like that place has definitely been added a few months ago, but I'm not too familiar with it. And it's a unique place to loot. Plus around this place, we have a town in the Z3 square. We're definitely going to loot that town because it's probably one of the bigger towns here in the game. Obviously the biggest town, the biggest city is going to be in this D4 slash D3, C4, C3 sector. But then from smaller towns, I think the town in the Z3 sector is the biggest town. So we're going to check that out. But before we go to that town in Z3, Square. As I said, I'd love to check out the motorbike track. I want to know if we can get there any loot in that motorbike track. And I think maybe I'm going to equip some more clothes just so that I can store more loot. So this way I don't have to keep coming back to the vehicle every five seconds. I don't know if I keep going straight or I take a turn. Probably we're just going to go straight. And look at this on that island. There's the town. Uh, there's this island. And I've never been there. I want to go there. I totally want to go there. Well, who knows, one day we will get there. But hey, now welcome to the motorbike town here. Excuse me, not motorbike town, but the motorbike track. I will leave the car at the entrance, probably. I have no idea where and when will the zombies start spawning. So I'd rather leave the car here. There we go, let's leave it. And let's probably equip another shirt. Even though, again, my character is going to start complaining that he's too hot, etc, etc. But he can just suck it up i guess right just walk it off as they say we're gonna equip this camouflage jacket as you can see this camouflage jacket has lots of storage i mean you could also probably get this armored vest but i think that's a bit too much we're gonna get that armored vest maybe for bunkers as they have more loot than here but yeah that's fine but i'm actually gonna drop the duct tape with some more things as i don't need everything plus the chocolate don't really need that. And those potassium iodine pills, we're gonna get rid of that. And I think I need everything else there that's in the backpack. There we go. Let's keep going. Let's quickly check how many bullets we got. We got here 26 bullets. That's just enough bullets. I'm pretty certain. There we go. We have another MP5 magazine. 
So in case things go south, I'm gonna make them go north. And everything's gonna be fine. There's There was supposed to be a zombie. Unless zombies haven't spawned here yet. Because sometimes that happens. But there, there are supposed to be a bunch of zombies here now, no? I'm just gonna assume. First of all, I don't even know how many zombies there are supposed to be in this motorbike track. But hey, no zombies here either. I don't even know if this place is supposed to have zombies. Like this building. I don't know. Again, we could test it out by doing a shot with a pistol. We could make some noise, but I don't really know if I want to do it. And I don't want to make too much noise. I've just heard zombies there, so yeah, they have indeed spawned. Let's go over there. And hey, luckily we've gotten here at least something. Some shotgun shells. We can definitely sell that stuff. Never going to say no to that. And I've just heard a zombie yell. And I've heard a beeping zombie. So definitely there are zombies. Totally. So we could make noise and deal with them here in this cabin. Like a bunch of wusses. So I'm kind of debating. Am I a wuss? Does that mean I'm a wuss? Well, I saw the dude's head. Can I get a... There you go. Got a headshot. Oh no, I see a bunch of zombies coming at us. Like an insane amount. I'm telling you. Look! Whoa! Well, that's like at least 20 zombies. We're gonna deal with this beeping guy first, though. How many zombies do we have? Wait, let's go here. And how many puppets we've killed? There we go. We've killed 180 puppets. Let's see how many puppets we'll have here now. Will any of them jump over? Maybe. I'm gonna get a few headshots, but I mean that guy's gonna explode all of them, so we're not gonna get kills for that. Is that cheating? I mean, what can I do? It's not my fault. What am I supposed to leave this place now? I mean, some of them will jump over. Kind of don't want to waste my bullets. I'll have to get these guys though. Perhaps I can use my bow for them. That'll be better. There we go. At least we're gonna get a few kills. And that guy has exploded. And obviously, some zombies have died with that dude as well. There we go. Now it's calm. And let's see how many kills we got now. We have total kills. I joined in 91, so we've just killed here 11 zombies. Either that explodey zombie killed them as well. And I've gotten those kills, or maybe no. In any case, let's see how many bullets do we have left here. We got now 25 bullets. Yeah, we should definitely start saving up those bullets because I don't know when else we're going to another trader's place. Correct? Now we just killed 11 zombies here. I mean, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like eight, nine, ten, and probably eleven there. Obviously, that's how we got them. So yeah, this place had a ridiculous amount of zombies. Look at all these schmucks. Okay, let's go on top of the rooftop. And let's start looting these cabins. Maybe these cabins are gonna have something. If this place had that many zombies, I'm gonna assume that it's gonna have a lot of loot as well. Go on, please, please, please. Right, this place was empty. This cabin had nothing. I'm gonna assume that all of these cabins are gonna be kind of the same. Yeah, all of these cabins look kind of the same. Unbelievable. Like, totally, I cannot even loot a single box. Why there's no food here? Nothing. Seriously, seems like a scam here. Well, I'm gonna check all of these things, though. Okay, we've gotten a watermelon slice. I could probably eat this entire watermelon slice. It's gonna take us a while to eat it. We're gonna get some calories from it. I mean, we've already gotten 30 calories. Plus, we're probably gonna get some... Some water. Well, we got one more thing to loot, then. One more cabin. And this cabin had just some garlic, some lime juice, and these hazelnuts. I'm, I'm gonna eat those hazelnuts. Hazelnuts are usually pretty nice. We're gonna get, like, 100 calories, like, in a few seconds. Totally not that bad. And lime juice. We can get that lime juice. Why not? And it is kind of windy here. Uh... That's not a bad weather. But what I don't like about windiness is that it's harder to hear those zombies. Okay, so this place had some loot. Look at this. We went into some sort of a tent. And here we've gotten another tactical handgun holster. We can definitely sell it. I don't know for how much, but we can sell it for a decent price. We've gotten here some canteens, some more water. Do I need more canteens, more water? I'm just going to drop it. We already have lots of that stuff. Which, again, maybe it's not that smart. Yeah, we should be getting water. That's it. I'm just gonna get one more canteen, though. That's it. Only one more. And I think I'm gonna be done with picking up water things. I'm gonna be done picking up drinks. We've gotten here another Tecum 9, which we could use it to get weapon parts and repair it. Or we could sell it. But I think I already have another Tecum 9 in the car, so I can use that one to repair it. So we don't need another one, so probably this thing is gonna be sold. 
Plus, we need cash regardless. Because soon I won't be able to start looting things as we're gonna run out of bullets. As for those who don't know, every time, every episode, I keep increasing the zombie spawn count so there are more and more zombies. And I think you felt that today that we have more zombies than usual. And if we're gonna keep spending that many bullets every time we loot a place, I'm not gonna be able to get any profit. So I'll need to start selling more things. I've just heard a zombie yell somewhere. I don't know where. But I have heard, shut your mouth. There we go. I don't know if there are more zombies here. Maybe. Okay, there are just leaves moving. I thought those are... Oh, there is a zombie. Oh, my goodness. There's a zombie here. How? How did you get here? There's another schmuck. And another schmuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. This place is pretty crazy. We've gotten another M9 magazine that I'm totally going to sell. We have some duct tape. Can we sell that duct tape? I'll get it. As I said, we need everything. Everything. I'm gonna get more... And we have more zombies there. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Nothing. We've gotten here another padlock. And, uh... Have I looted everything here? Now, yes, I have looted kind of everything. Besides this thing. So let's quickly check that out. And then we'll find a way on how to deal with those zombies outside. As I kind of don't want to open up the door. Because that makes sense why. I want to check how many bullets we got left. We got here 20 out of 30. That is kind of decent. So how about I go here and then it'll make some noise. As opening up now the door. It's going to be kind of silly. There we go. Made some noise. Are they going to come anywhere? Would be cool to shoot them through this thing. Okay, another zombie's coming through. I'm going to fall soon, dude. I'm going to fall... Dude, I am gonna fall. I cannot go back in. I cannot go back in! I'm gonna break my kneecaps there. Maybe I can crawl inside. So I could go out, but I can't do anything else. Well, let's go that way. And let's deal with these schmucks then. I have no idea if any more zombies are gonna come after us. But I'm definitely gonna stay here somehow, some way we are alive. Alright. Another zombie. I want to know if there's anybody else there. So let's go for it. Okay, that's it. We got all of them. That's kind of good. Kind of good, good, good if you ask me. We've gotten some of these schmucks. That's decent. Okay, so let's see if this place has anything else to offer. Let's see if we're going to get more loot. As I'm pretty certain we should be able to get that. I mean, obviously, probably the main attraction of this place is this track. Like, I do think in multiplayer, maybe sometimes you get some sort of events here. I don't really know. Can't confirm that, but... I feel like that should be a thing, so I'm just gonna say that maybe it exists. But other than that, it looks like there's nothing else down there. So maybe we shouldn't even go down that track. I'm just gonna try to go back up. Maybe we'll find something there. Because I'm pretty certain I haven't looted these things yet. Like, that's a fact. Plus, I'm losing some stamina. We're only at 49 stamina. So it'd be nice to get some more. Can I go back up? Nope. And maybe I should really start saving these bullets. Because... I've definitely had some fun here shooting these zombies. But we are running out of these bullets like crazy. I won't be able to loot any more bunkers. Like, that's it. We're almost out of bullets. I have a magazine here, another magazine, and plus 14 bullets. And plus some bullets in the pistol. And that is it. So definitely, I should start saving it. I'm saying it whilst I keep holding this gun up. Because what am I going to do? I'm going to run here without the gun. I'm going to use the bow once I can do it. Once I'm hidden somewhere. We've got here a wheel. I think we can sell it for... 500. The wheel isn't that bad. We've gotten some of these electrician tools. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna be the loot goblin now. I'll get everything I can get. A small toolbox. I don't think we can sell it. Plus, it takes lots of space. I mean, maybe we can sell it, but not for too much. We've gotten here a door. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you really reloading? Let's sort of reload back to another magazine. Okay, didn't do it. An idiot. Let's put back this old magazine. And then we have this other door from another vehicle from this Leica. Pretty cool. We're gonna be selling those things. Except, I don't even know if they'll fit in our car. Hopefully they will. But I'm pretty certain that stuff can be sold for a few hundred cash. Plus, we've gotten this weapon cleaning kit. And those weapon cleaning kits are really decent. We can either sell them for a few hundred cash or, even better, we can keep that stuff for ourselves. Let's get this work jacket. Nothing, nothing. Whole lot of nothing. We've gotten at least a screwdriver, which I'm not gonna say no to that. 
Are there more garages that I can check, perhaps? Okay, there's another garage here. So we found here a seat, right? But I cannot do anything with it because I don't have a car jack, so I cannot do any maintenance on the car. We've got another toolbox that doesn't even fit. But I'm gonna move some stuff around and it is gonna fit here. There we go, now it fits perfectly. And plus we've gotten another door and this is a front right door. Okay, that is definitely cool. Except how do I put it on the car without a car jack? Do you only buy a car jack? Or can you find one? Would be really lovely if we could find a car jack here. Okay, there's another garage that I haven't looted. Okay, let's start checking it out. We've gotten here a few padlocks. Let's get it. So at least we've gotten a bunch of loot. Some of it might be crap, but it's fine. That's some loot nonetheless. More padlocks. We've gotten here another hacksaw that I'm gonna sell. And I don't know if there's anything else here. There's one more garage probably that I haven't... Okay, two garages. I'm pretty certain some of the zombies have woken up. I don't know where, but I think they have woken up. Can I open up these doors? Okay. I want to get this schmuck. There go, the dude's dead. Okay, let's close the door. And there was a... Okay, Christmas paint. So I thought that's a Christmas sweater. Say, so let's look one more of these garages and we've gotten a front left seat. So that's another seat. If I only had a car jack. And we've actually found here another car door. And so I think we'll have a few options here. Either I find a car jack and I put all of that stuff in the car. Or I'll need to craft another box. And then I'll store all of those things in the box in the car. Which maybe that is doable. Maybe. But I haven't looted here this building. It has a second floor. So let's see. Obviously there should be at least one zombie. Maybe it's kind of quiet though. I don't see a single schmuck. Nobody's here. Everything's kind of quiet. Okay, that's it. There were no zombies for some reason. All right. There were no zombies, but there was also no loot either. So that's not really surprising. Oh, there's this place with loot around the garages and other stuff. So I want to see what's up. We've gotten here a kilt that I'll sell. We've gotten here a baseball cap that I will sell. And anything else here? Perhaps some more cool clothes and nothing. So I've just heard some zombies wake up somewhere. I don't know where or how or where are they even. I'm thinking that I'll need to drive here with my vehicle. Okay, I'm running out of stamina a little by little. Okay, I think these zombies are going to be stuck here. Oh, I didn't know we can loot that stuff. They are locked in these trailers. Look at that schmuck. I never knew we can loot these trailers. That's kind of cool. So what are we going to get here? I mean, these are just basic boxes. Usually you don't get anything nice in these basic boxes. Perhaps a nail here and there, but that's it. So I parked the car really far away, but I kind of know where's that garage. So let's see if we can craft another box because we desperately need another box to store the car parts. Or maybe we don't even have to do it. Well, let's go over here. I mean, we have some storage there and this chest is almost empty. We can only, we have only guns here, so we can definitely store some things. Well, I just checked the car and it looks like I won't be able to craft another box as we don't have enough nails, so I need to start picking up more nails. So now let's drop the things that I am going to sell. So I'm gonna repair some of these clothes because these repair kits are kind of cheap and this way we can get some more cash. All right, so the inventory is more or less sorted out. Let's drop all of that stuff there. Let's hop in the vehicle and let's see if there are any zombies there. Because as you already know, they keep respawning, so hopefully they haven't respawned yet, but something tells me they are already back. I can feel those schmucks. I can <laughs> smell them for sure. I came from that side. Well, there are the garages. I'm gonna park. And we got a wheel here, so let's put it. How big is the wheel? Okay, it fits here perfectly. We got here a door. It fits in my hands. There we go. Let's get that door. And let's see how huge this door actually is. Does it fit here? Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. The door is actually big. The door, I kid you not, is pretty huge. So how about we put it in this box here? Will it fit? It doesn't fit for some reason. You cannot take doors with you. Excuse me, that's really weird. The second box. No, it's the third box. There we go. Let's drop it in the third box, perhaps. No, it doesn't allow me to drop it. I mean, it's probably not big enough. Like, it is pretty huge. Well, you can't just store that stuff in the box. Which is kind of sad. I cannot put it in this vehicle either. So what can I do with this door? There's nothing I can do with it. What happened to my character? Does he want to pee again? Oh, yes, indeed. We need to pee. Let's do it while it's safe. So it's cool and all, but how does one get those doors? We are not going to be able to transport them at all then. 
Like, you cannot put those doors on top of the vehicle or take them anywhere with you. We have this back right seat. So, how about... I mean, we won't be able to put it here, obviously, at all. Because we can't perform any maintenance. But how about we store it in one of these boxes? Maybe that's gonna be doable. I cannot store the seat either. Like, it just doesn't fit. No. I don't even know why am I bringing everything into one spot. It's not like something magical is gonna happen. We haven't found a car jack. Wait, actually, there's a wheel here. I haven't even seen it. I mean, it's at least 500 cash, so that's something. At least we can sell those. Because there's one more door there that I haven't taken yet and do we really need to take it with us as i can't put it in the car anyways so let's add here another wheel there we go it fits perfectly actually i want to put it there we go there we go now both of these wheels fit nicely we can sell that stuff probably respawned haven't they let's deal with this zombie let's deal with this zombie so i can only assume that a bunch of zombies have respawned right now that's it we're gonna die if i don't leave this place asap like there's no carjack there's nothing i can do about it we just have to leave this place right now hopefully no one's gonna attack me from behind there's a zombie there there we go we got it so how about we skedaddle yeah i think we should actually skedaddle from this place because i don't have a carjack but this place was awesome now let's just try to leave this place because there's nothing much we can do there. So a psych from the future going to cross off this place off the map. And on top of that psych from the future cross off that small shipyard and the gas station that we've looted today. So we've gotten a few thousand cash from it. We've also gotten there a bunch of zombies. Now let's actually see how many zombies we've already killed here. We've gotten here 201 puppet kills, which is kind of cool. And now we're going to drive to this kind of big town that's located in Z3 Square. But we're going to do that stuff in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video. And I highly suggest you check it out my Icarus Let's Play. Click on the second card and go to my grounded let's player hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that are played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep